Hey, welcome to video number 257 of Walker This Way with Hazel Walker, who's walking the world. Through the haze of networking. I am Mark Simmons. How's walking going? Walking is going well. I've been walking a lot of people through the haze of networking lately. I've done a lot of trainings and I've done a lot of visitor days. And so people are coming through the haze. Nice. I, too, have been walking. I have been walking through the haze of real estate. <laughs> uh, as as a realtor and you know local real estate is hazy there's so much going on a lot of changes happening but it involves a lot of networking too so i've been yeah. doing a lot of networking as a realtor and and so are you getting business um no but i'll tell you um i'm getting recognized hey i saw you at that networking event yeah I'm, so I'm, you're networking a lot of business. I'm networking famous. You're I'm networking famous. Much business from it. Yeah. Lots of visibility. That's that's the problem. Um, you know, you gotta you gotta have a system. There's a difference between networking mm -hmm. and working your network. Right? You, okay. Mark, probably know all the people you need to know to make a good living. If you only had a system to teach the people that you already know how to give you business versus running around and meeting a whole lot of new people and handing out business cards like every other real estate agent, every other insurance agent, every other mortgage broker, every other everybody. Because when you're at a networking event, what do people go to networking events to do? Well, get notice, hand out cards. It's like Oprah at Christmas. You get a car and you get a car and you get a car. Well, you get a car and you get a car. And then when they're out of cars, they're like, oh, it's an amazing night. Have you ever, have you, before you go to a networking event, uh, have you ever said to yourself, tonight, I'm going to this networking event and I'm going to buy stuff from people? Yeah, no. You've never said that. Going to a networking event with the intention of buying? Not really. Then why do you think that anyone else has said that? Because I'm popular. It's me. They should want to. No. Because really. I know, don't. I know they don't. You're not going with the intention to buy anything. Right. You're just there passing out cards and you're hoping to sell something, right? You sell yourself, sell your real estate event. Sell. Everybody at a networking event like that is usually there to sell something. Yeah. They're looking for prospects. They're looking to sell. And it's, I've always called it face-to-face -face cold calling. It's face-to-face -face cold calling for the most part. And it, it creates a lot of visibility, but it doesn't create referrals for you because there's no real trust. They don't see you on a regular basis. You haven't got a plan for converting them from a person that you just met and know to a person that knows you, likes you, trusts you, and is now willing to give you referrals. And it takes some kind of a system to make that happen. It's it's why BNI works and organizations like BNI, where they allow one person per profession and they meet consistently at a regular time for long periods of time. So they can build trust with one another. So I tell everybody before they decide to go networking, and here's the other part of it. Most people are networking with the wrong people in the wrong place at the wrong time. So going to big, giant networking events, your contacts, the people who would refer business to you probably aren't even in the room. Right? right? They're probably not even there because you don't know, you've got to know your target market. Who are the clients that I'm looking for? Okay, if I know my target market, then who else serves my target market? And when I know who else serves my target market, guess what else I now know? What? Where to go network. Because now I can build relationships with people who are building relationships with the people I want to know. Yeah. Right? And with, with a system of having goals, doing one-to-one, -one, sitting down with them, getting to know them, 
um, practicing giver's gain, you can convert people. You can build good relationships that will generate referrals for you with your networking. But you've got to kind of develop a plan for that. And the first plan is, do I know my target market? And do I know who deals with my target market? So if I'm looking to network with people who buy from realtors, that's a different network than looking for the network of people who sell to my clients, yeah. right? So contractors and all of those trades are people who they would know if a person's getting their house ready to sell. Home inspectors would know. These people are going to know if the house is getting ready to sell. By and simply by you teaching them how to ask a few questions. So you got to have a system. The beauty of of our organization is of BNI is that that's what we have is a system, right? That allows us the time to teach. But it doesn't mean it can't work with your networking if you actually have designed a plan to do it. Yeah. You and I both know someone and they'll remain nameless for now on here but you and i both know someone who's a great networker and i know when they go they do a lot of networking go to a lot of networking events um their intention is never to sell themselves their intention is to walk away with three meetings lunches not even call it like lunches so they can learn about the person they're meeting with and what they do is they bring their list of clients they have go hey who do you want to meet who can i introduce you to that's their purpose is introduce you to their network that's their sole purpose. From that, though, they get a ton of business out of it. Yeah, because they have a system by which they're they're generating that, correct? If yeah. I go to a networking event, the people I want to meet at most networking events is real estate agents. Because real estate agents tend to be the pillar of my launching new chapters. So I'm going to have a goal. I want to meet this many real estate agents, and I want to meet this many of this and this many of this. Right. I'm going to look for those people that are going to help me and that I can help because once I meet them, I can sit down and help them and show them how they can get more business also. Right. And we could work together. So you got to have a goal. You got to know what you're doing. Yeah. You got, and you've got to have here's the other piece. Before you go to a networking event, so I'm going to a networking event on March the 6th. Mm -hmm. I already have it on my calendar on March the 7th. I've blocked out follow-up time already. Before I go to my networking event, I block off follow-up time. Because if you don't, you will come back to your office and you'll get busy working and you will forget. And then it, it time too much time passes. Yeah. So you got to put your follow-up time on your calendar before you walk out the door. So lots of different things people can do. For networking and the question is are you networking or are you working your network two very different things they're very very different activities Act different activities different mindsets different perspectives good question to ask yourself uh i'll be asking myself do things different good stuff all right hazel walker until next time thanks see you later bye